Well, hello, everyone. We just watched the first episode of Star of the Giants, and that was an experience. <laughs> I, it was. I, I, I need so I, I, you know, would say I need a drink, but this is kind of starting me <laughs> off drink at the yeah, moment. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> need some sake, Steve? No, no. no. no what I need no. is water. Just pure, <laughs> unadulterated water and Zoloft. Something, yeah. anything. Because this is like, oh, my goodness. Trauma. Yeah, I had not I, for yeah. for the stuff that we've watched, like mm. this newer season kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm not familiar with any of them. Really, they have like drama usually mm. to start a sports uh, anime, yeah. <laughs> like right. nothing like this episode. Well, that's true. Like in the sports, and, and you know, it's usually a sad story of like we were once the blah blah blah, mm. the blah blah blah, and you know, we want to regain our glory, and that's the drama. And then you know, of course, yeah. you had the individual drama of just like my father died, and I wanted to prove, you know, whatever. Yeah, this yeah. was just outright, just like, oh, my life is in shambles because due to poor decision making, and mm. now I'm a drunk, and now I'm going to make my son play baseball in the cold, and we're going to throw pitches. 189 pitches while it's snowing outside mm -hmm. so he can be the best of the best of the best whatever and yeah, yeah i mean it's... i mean right in the first 30 seconds of this before they before anything starts you're like oh this is abuse this is where we're going with mm -hmm. this okay because it's not this isn't like you know you're reading abuse into it no this you're supposed to get the point of father is insane and trying to do something with the son to get the son to make his dreams come true i guess mm -hmm. I, yeah. I you know yeah there's no a, training regimen like oh you have to sit under a waterfall and well, meditate right. yeah, and yeah, like you have to do this no this is just like dad's dad's really over the horizon on this one man like she's well, really out of control but to that point what's interesting about it is it is a an extreme regimen but like it's not um it's very directed towards pitching right like yeah. you're going yeah, to yeah, practice yeah. pitching over and over and over and over again i don't care if it's raining or snowing or sleeting or whatever so like it's interesting how i think there's a direction you could go in which he's doing all sorts of like crazy weird training whereas instead it's like so laser focused on pitching we're like we're, we're gonna focus on that one skill and that one skill alone um, yeah, it's sort of like the kendo thing drive. where you constantly are mm -hmm. over your head. Mm -hmm. You just do that 300 mm -hmm. times to improve your yeah. muscle. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, well, you know, to that point, when, when, you know, I played baseball and I learned mm -hmm. that I could switch hit, you know, that's the thing you did. You, you, you practice and you practice okay. and you practice till it was, it was second nature to do mm -hmm. those things. But, you know, I didn't do it in rain. I didn't do it in a mm -hmm. snowstorm. Mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, with my dad screaming at me, what the hell's wrong with you? Get up. You know, or, or Ken, you know, this guy looks like, what was that? What's that actor's name? Ken. Up. You know, you know what? He mm -hmm. actually really does look like the Japanese coach in Mr. Baseball with Tom Selleck. Okay. That actor. I don't know. Yeah. If it, uh, you know, yeah. He actually, actually Got looks made. like it. But um, mm -hmm. anyway, but yeah, I mean, you know, there, you do that, right? Mm -hmm. You do, you mm -hmm. do do that, but sure. it's not this it's mm -hmm. not <laughs> right. it's not the abuse yeah yeah well and the other interesting thing is like if the kid had signed up for it right yeah right yeah. right right yeah it this this could very well just be a very i mean this sounds exactly like tiger woods yeah this is exactly what he described his training regimen as being like he was just like yeah i want to do this like I, I find this fun right um, you know, the twist here obviously is the kid hates it. Um, and the father is clearly pressuring him the entire time. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's definitely interesting. And, and to that point, the question is like, where are they going to go in the story with this implication that abuse is justified because it gives him this yeah. power? <sighs> God, yeah, and this is this is the first thirty freaking seconds of it. Well, yeah. you know, and again, we've mentioned this in other things before. The, the, yeah. What's going on culturally at this point in time sure. is yeah. pushback on the over authoritarianism mm. that's extant in like the educational mm -hmm. system. Yeah, um, and you know, what I mean, this could be a thinly veiled metaphor for yeah. how you know this is learning. Mm -hmm. I'm going to 
beat learning into you. <laughs> you yeah. don't like what you're learning. Yep. That's tough. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I oh, yeah. could see that being a like, thinly veiled metaphor for Absolutely. that kind of uh, uh, yeah. abusive educational uh effort no there's no question i think yeah you're absolutely right yeah um um well it's it's also interesting that you contrast that with what we see later specifically in school um because the one scene we have of school is of a kid like hanging out on a desk yeah uh, while they're all hanging around they're all just having this this long conversation like there's no adults around it's just you know kids getting into a fight eventually that um, no one comes to do anything about. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. So um, I definitely think there, there, there's a lot to that, that this is kind of a, a, a talking about authoritarianism in general in Japanese culture. Yeah. And like we were saying, it sounds like, and I'm, I'm still a little confused in the timeline, this, at least this episode is set in 1957, or at least like the mid 50s, because we had that flashback with his father in the 40s, yeah. like the late right. 40s. Um, so interestingly, you know, this came out in 68. So this is this the show is pre-Tokyo Olympics, pre-modernization, pre all of that stuff. You know, Japan is still struggling to get its way out of all the devastation of World War II. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely a desperate time. Which could be a fairly good indication of like mm-hmm. it's <laughs> I hate to say it because the it's mm-hmm. but I don't know how to convey the idea of it. They live in a shanty town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, yes, they have tatami. They have like structural elements of like traditional Japanese housing, but this looks like a post-war shanty town. Mm-hmm. Like recovery is not quite hit this neighborhood. No. And they've sort of cobbled together the bits and pieces that they could. Yeah. I see there's that shot of like them walking around. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Where it's like, this is, you know, um, yeah, things are kind of falling apart. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, which is which is really interesting. So let's let's get to some of this, some of the visual aspects of it. Um, we were talking already about how, as sorry, I'm curious about the redshift in that. Oh yeah, like Good that point. whole shanty town scene is entirely redshift. Now I, I understand yeah. it's also the time of day, yeah, but it's I mean that is. Like there isn't mm. really very much that's not red. Yeah. <laughs> like mm. hmm. not quite sure what that represents, but that that for that much, it certainly <laughs> yeah. highlights the characters um, yeah. in the middle. Well, well, it's it's basically I to me it's just another way to symbolize uh, poverty. Uh, if you're gonna mm. live in poverty, you're gonna live in dirt. That looks mm. like dirt. So it's a sort uh, of if, if you yeah color. yeah and if you're living in 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 if you're rich or not in poverty or living a good life mm-hmm. there's there're going to be brighter colors mm-hmm. in there and so there's that, not going to yeah. be you know that that kind of thing where it's yeah. just like everything looks used everything looks like dirt you know porous mm-hmm. dirt and yeah kind yeah of thing. that that's okay. why I read into it okay. Okay. sure sorry yeah, sorry I Brent that. I just yeah. no, no 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 that's that's yeah. great um it can also represent um dawn Right, Making, yeah. you know, but yeah, I, I can I can see all those implications definitely. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, and that ties in the level of attention to kind of the art and the detail of it is definitely a step up from what we've seen, especially in terms of consistency. Like mm-hmm. Astro Boy had those flashes of brilliance, yeah. of you know, wow, really well composed shot, really interesting. Um, so the giant had a lot more consistency and sort of quality, and you know there was a background all the time. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but it was more uniform all the way, right. uh, and not a lot of, of of like like surprising visuals. Whereas this, like, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. Mm-hmm. Um, there were the the newspapers that they kind of overlay. Um, this whole yeah, spinning live, thing, live action newspapers, like that's yeah, really interesting. <laughs> very very odd. Um. But like we were saying, this, I would argue, this is the most grounded anime we've seen so far. Yeah. yeah. So far. Um, and it, Well, there's it, nothing yeah. other than a, a, you know, really, you know, questionable style of, of pitching. Yeah, yeah the, the, the baseball is absurd. That's a good point. Yeah. But it, like, this is, a, this, there is no car with 
you know, giant saw blades <laughs> popping out, <laughs> people surviving all horrific crashes or not. We yeah. Don't um, this is, yes, entirely grounded. <laughs> like, yeah. This is baseball. Yeah. Um, not spaceball, but no, baseball. 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 But gritty. Baseball of the streets. Yeah. The common then, man's sport. The common man. Well, the common man, because uh, the main character's father turns out um, fought in World War II. Yeah. And so we and get this whole nice. footage, this whole sequence of all this like World War II footage. In the well, background of this, which, as I, as the guy is moving, so it'd be yeah, different if yeah. like if he if if he was just static right there, you know, just not moving, yeah. and you had the stuff in the background moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But think about the budget of this. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's not cheap for 1968. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. and, and that's. Effort. I'm gonna guess they're animating it on the actual film cells, or or they're you know I, I, I don't know how you overlap that unless you play it in the background and then i, I suspect what they're doing I'm is doing it, it depends on how they're doing it it's possible it's rear projection so they are basically um they've set up a an animation rig where they can project onto the, onto oh, okay. the background yeah, yeah, yeah. the film and put but the cell pause yeah. it yeah so okay yeah, the film running you know frame one throw the cells on top of there film it advance the film once Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's it's because doing it so that way, the <laughs> timing involved. Yeah, you know what I mean mm -hmm. to be like because this, you know, how many frames a second is the <gasps> film running at, Damn. and then trying to multiplane something where like you get it mm -hmm. so it the film in the background is moving at the right speed, the animation in the foreground is moving at the right speed. More speed, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's some technical work right there. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And for 1968, you're showing <coughs> World War II footage. Like, yeah. I still imagine that probably was not a very comfortable subject. Nope. At that time, so you know. nope. You know, this is all in living memory. Yeah, and not happy living memory for no, sure. No, no. <laughs> you know? Well, especially not when we get to that. Yeah. This. <clears throat> It's like okay, sure. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna play that card. Yeah. Jeez. You didn't have to go there, but damn well did you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also interesting because this that that specifically is not does not tie into the story. Yeah. It's just that's what ended the, the war. Well, and and that and if you read the actual subtitles, that's mm -hmm. important to that character uh, mm -hmm. to to the father. Hmm. Uh, you injured something worth more than your life, and then you returned. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's talking about PTSD right there. Hmm. You injured something worth more than your life, and then you returned. So when, because in the previous frame, he's talking about the the, the guy running there. Is he's talking mm -hmm. about how you know it's basically running the story of saying you went to war, you got drafted, and it was a tragedy because mm -hmm. you hurt your shoulder, but then right. you did. Something more was taken from you. Oh no! Yeah, I, I, I I interpreted this that the, 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 the it was the arm that he that was injured. No, nah, I'm 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 reading that. Yeah, I'm reading that it's PTSD. I think he it, he'd already ascertained that the, that the shoulder was injured, but mm -hmm. that there was more that was taken from him, and that's usually mm -hmm. a, a metaphor for you know, you know, your your something within your spirit. Mm -hmm. See, that's interesting because I was th I was thinking along the same lines with Brent that it's mm -hmm. like you injured something worth more than your life. Your shoulder was your golden ticket. Mm -hmm. This was the thing that made your living. This is the thing that mm -hmm. made you special, and yeah. you injured it, and then yeah. you returned, and you were not the same person. You couldn't yeah. do the thing yeah. anymore. And to be clear, he still clearly has PTSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this line of first or not, there is no question. Yeah. yeah. So um, yes, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all of it together. Totally. He lost his 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 golden ticket, and <laughs> mm -hmm. the war changed him fundamentally. Yeah, yeah like it did so many people of that generation. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. everybody of that generation. I mean, you wonder how much it changed this guy, right? You have all these people who came, like the, the guy in the, on the, the screen. Like, yeah, you have all these people who came back and managed to build a life, yeah. but you know, out of what? Well, the the stories of people coming back who had survived when. 
that really wasn't the point. They were sent off to not ever really, really come back. Come back. Yep. Yeah. And that reactions were varied about people mm-hmm. returning. Like, ooh. exactly. Well, you know, what's his name? Um, of uh, KK Kataro, his family w- w- thought he yeah. should have died. Right. Exactly. That, that he got off light losing Mitsuki his arm. Shigeru. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, baseball anime. Yeah. <laughs> oh. They went there. Oh. Um, and to that point, like something we, we started commenting on pretty much at this point when you get uh, uh, you know, the father getting all drunk and all that fun stuff. Um, like it, it's like they compressed an entire season's worth of a telenovela like drama all yeah. into one episode. <laughs> like yeah. everybody is just pushing all the drama to the edge and you know, crying at each other, and it's yeah, it's it's, it's everything. Which I mean, if you're going to lay the foundation for a show, I guess mm-hmm. you just hit it all in episode one, and then then you everybody can say, "Well, now we know why that kid's like that." Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, I know. Like just in turn, uh, during this entire thing, I'm just like, can, can I? Am I allowed to breathe? Can I? Yeah. Can I? Can I just? Take a moment. Can I, you know, can we have some levity, please? No, no, no. The answer, the answer is a res- back into it. <laughs> <laughs> the answer was a resounding no. That's actually a really good point. There's no comedy. There's no romance. Right. There's there's nothing. It is pure melodrama for 24 solid minutes. Yeah. Wow. I I really did not connect that until right just now. I mean, the closest you kind of get to, to some levity mm. is all the kids in the classroom yeah. talking about, oh, if they're basement, he's going to go to the Giants, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, there is a, they're having a happy moment. Yeah. <clears throat> which then goes south. Um, <laughs> but, you know, almost there's nobody. There's else in this show. Yeah. As I say, <laughs> oh, there's nothing like happy moment for this kid, no. for his father, for his sister, for none of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, his sister laughs in one moment, mm-hmm. and that's kind of like you sound. I don't like know what else to do. Yeah, you sound <laughs> like you're kind of like mm-hmm. you, you've got a lot of emotions going on, and that's the only thing that really came out at that moment. <laughs> like mm-hmm. oh, you're crying and laughing. Like oh. yeah. Uh, let's talk about the poverty because mm. we haven't seen this portrayed. I think this directly in anime before. Um, yeah. you know, we had, um, was it, uh, Sally, the witch. Yeah. Uh, K-chan, whatever her name was, Yo-ch- um, Yo-chan. Yeah. Yo-chan, thank you. Yo-chan. Um, where they lived in clearly like reduced circumstances, but things yeah. were fine. <laughs> right. You yeah. Know? Rent problems were the biggest, you know, mm-hmm. poverty flag. Yeah. No, like, like every pane of glass is broken. Like yeah. there's it, like, there, I I could not find a single shot in this that does not show some damage to their home. Yeah. Interestingly, um, though, the tatamis are all in good shape. That's true. Which is, uh, you know, well, he's got to pass out somewhere nice. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm assuming that's something that maybe you're more concerned about is that yeah. the flooring is nice, but the windows don't have to be whole. Possible. I'm <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, or they just didn't have the budget. Yeah, <laughs> to yeah. mess up the Tavi as well. Or, or literally, someone in the in the production team was like, "Listen, just stop it with the grinding poverty." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't they have one thing? Yeah. which how poor they look. Are. Look, we broke they, the television. Yeah, Come on, they have just a had the floor at least for this time period. They have yeah. a TV, so even yeah. in grinding poverty, they still somehow got a television. That's a good point. Yeah, which he then broke, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah um so we were talking about this while we were watching it um it's interesting to me that like um his clothes are patched the boys clothes are cat patched but the girls are not yeah how the sister seems to be pretty much unaffected by this and john your point and I, i think i agree that maybe that was kind of a bridge too far which, I mean, we've seen live action films that portray, like, sure. you know, Edo era peasant girls mm-hmm. or, you know, dressed in sackcloth and stuff like that. Yeah. But 
obviously the thrust of this is father son dynamic baseball you don't really need to involve the daughter in this you know just make mm-hmm. her like relatively clean she's the mediator to the family yeah, but yeah. don't don't get her scruffed up and dirty like like mm-hmm. the guys are mm-hmm. yeah that's what it this, feels this could like. be a reaction to like the unfortunate practice that happened right after the war of prostituting daughters and hmm. and and spouses to make ends meet um you know that because that that happened and you know so maybe they're just like let's like to your point john let's not go there let's let's not show mm. that let's not infer that mean. let's not yeah. let's not mm-hmm. hearken back to that yeah mm. you know let's let's not let's not dwell on that and let's mm. just say that up until this point she is the one that if any of them is going to have the ticket mm-hmm. out of here, mm-hmm. it's probably yeah. going to be her. And it's got to yeah. be her with marriage because this is 1957. Mm-hmm. There's not True. much else going on for yeah. women. And and the the boys are probably sacrificing for her. Right. You know, at least yeah. you will have a nice dress. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I agree. That that tracks. Um, yeah. Because... Uh, Everything else is hey, somebody's got to make it. Jeez, yeah. jeez. <clears throat> also, I they have a television that's broken. They mm-hmm. are living in a place. Is what is this? I mean, this is episode one. I'm kind of surprised they didn't be like, "Oh, well, you got drunk and lost your job." Like uh, they right. never brought up. Mm-hmm. He used to be a baseball player. He used to be a go- really mm-hmm. good baseball player before you know he yeah. got drafted. What is he doing now? Yeah. You know, not that it matters for the baseball part of baseball, but it's like, right. how is he yeah. supporting their family in the meantime? It's like, yeah. I kind of would have thought that if he was totally unemployed, you would have had a plot something in there where like somebody's donating food to them or something, mm-hmm. you know, some some issue would come up. How somebody... well were professional baseball players paid back then? I can't imagine they were paid up next to anything. You know what I mean? Certainly not by comparison with today's kind of baseball yeah. players. Yeah. Um, and I, would he have gotten a pension for having been a former uh, soldier? Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. The, 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 they, they, they ran, they, they, they literally ran out of money. So mm. what they did is they gave objects to soldiers mm. as, as, as payment. You had to be mm. pretty much an officer. Mm. to get any kind of any kind of pension and that's not saying mm. much um mm. like um toshiro mofune who trained mm. uh pilots to be kamikaze pilots by helping them identify american ships because he was a mm. photographer um he his his what the army did for him was they gave him a uh army blanket mm. and said thank you for your service Mm-hmm. And send wow, it's a hell of a pension. Yeah. Well, <laughs> which, which, which he when turned you into, lose the war. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know that's yeah. that's you know. So I can't imagine he got much out of that. So mm-hmm. that's a really good question. Is it, what what is he? Yeah. What is it that he's getting that's enabling him to get thus far? Yeah. And maybe this again coming back to kind of the manga perspective. Maybe from the perspective of a ten year old boy, you're not really thinking mm-hmm. about. How right. does your dad make money? So right. it'll maybe address at some point, but it's just kind of not at the forefront of of his. Well, his that's what I was just surprised because we had yeah. so much melodrama up to now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, it feels like you missed the opportunity to be like, mm. just put one more turn on the screw. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and he just got laid off. Right. Yeah. Right. I yeah. Mean, mm-hmm. I came back to a, to a you know a baseball career and a stable job at the at the Matsumoto uh, Aircraft Works. Yeah, <laughs> and, it got, and it got bombed. Oh, damn it. Mm. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> um, one of the questions we had, which I think is worth addressing, is the target audience for this. Yeah, yeah. It it can't be a ten year old boy wanting to play baseball. It can't be. It can't be. Please, it no. can't be. I mean, I, it feels to me like it's got to be. It's got to be pushing into like the high school age kid. Mm. Yeah, where they're old enough to be able to sort of stomach a lot of melodrama like this, and it's mm-hmm. you know what I mean. There's there's a lot of dynamic activity going on, but it's extremely uncomfortable. 
And I think a younger audience, like 10 year old audience would be like, eh, I don't, you know, what do I do with this? Mm-hmm. Versus an older audience is like, okay, this is all the background to how he becomes mm-hmm. a great baseball, you know, guy. Yeah. It's going to be perfect. Yeah. You know, it's like, so I, it feels to me like it, sh- it should have skewed further north into high school age kids and mm-hmm. then adult men. Mm. Yeah. So fortunately, we know this. Uh, oh, the the yeah. director has, has stated that his goal of Star of the Giants was to uh, attract a teenage audience. Okay. Okay. Um, now, Thank God. obviously, yeah, uh, obviously, this was not. You know, when it came out, all anime was for kids, so they kind of right. expected it to be, to be that way. But he very much, um, as, as he said, my goal is <laughs> to get a yeah. huge audience in this. And from all accounts, it sounds like he more or less succeeded. Um, I do think it was popular with with kids. I do think it, it did draw that that audience. But even there, it sounds like it's more of like a tween audience than a right. yeah. you know seven year olds. And you know, certainly as you as we progress into how he's going to encounter baseball mm-hmm. on his mm-hmm. own terms, mm-hmm. um, this first if you took a pilot audience of ten year olds and gave yeah. them this, I'm <laughs> I'm not sure there's enough sports action in it mm-hmm. to hold like, the interest. Keep yeah, to keep them mm-hmm. locked in. Like yes, there's a lo- mm-hmm. lot of people getting slapped action. There's a lot of like, <laughs> a lot of domestic problem action. Mm-hmm. But it's I I would see it very difficult on on, on pilot on using episode one to mm-hmm. like grab that audience. I I could certainly see though, in just the little bits we've seen, like the action of pitching that yeah. they've got some good kinetic movements for the mm-hmm. characters so i could see where this is going to develop they're going to focus more on what's going on with the sport and then you mm-hmm. can be like oh you know wow look at that pitch won't you yeah. see how he did that you know very imitatable not so much the drinking and abuse but the, the baseball, <laughs> baseball <laughs> right. i want to be like that old dad no you know no 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 that's not the lesson yeah this feels like a prologue episode yeah yeah mm-hmm. agreed you know could this be like and, and I'm being serious here. Um, hmm. um, what, uh, what's the new Gundam one? Which from uh, Mercury? Yeah, I was just, with, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what came to mind. <clears throat> and because you know the first episode is a prologue episode, and it is mm-hmm. grim dark. And yeah, then you get into, into episode yeah. two, and it gets into the meat of the rest of it. But you needed that darkness mm. first. So I'm kind of hoping, like maybe that that's what this is, like. We're gonna give you all the dark, don't the think really so. dark. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh dear. Well, I mean, at some point in time, Junior does manage to like rise to this. You know, mm. he can do that. He yeah. can do the bean yeah. ball kind of yeah. thing. So, you know, I, I'm sure his character yeah. arc goes on to be a baseball player. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure Dad will not be, you know, doing uh, practice in the snow every episode moving forward. Right. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah. But I mean, we will have a a progression mm-hmm. of the sun that will then lead into the thing, sort of like yeah. you get the witch from Mercury, mm-hmm. Soleta, Soleta, I think is her name. Uh, so um, yeah. You get her having this grim, dark, mm-hmm. like childhood thing, mm-hmm. and now she's older and she's starting to get right. into doing the thing. Yeah, so yeah, right. I yeah. think yeah. your your point for that being like time skip yeah i mm-hmm. absolutely could see the time skip where now yeah, yeah. he's in high school and practicing for the baseball team You're like mm-hmm. oh, there yeah. you go yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure we will get all of the drama of that yeah right of, of right, what right. team you're on and and right. all of the you know uh, pressure of that but he will hopefully have already dealt with things in his i wonder what his father's gonna be like after the time skip like will he mellow at all like a little bit will he be alive I mean, I'm yeah, kind of wondering whether the guy who mm-hmm. who hit the the ball yeah. back through the hole, mm-hmm. whether he's going to pluck this promising new kid. Yeah, yeah. Dad's going to mm-hmm. drink himself to death. Sister is going to go live with like somebody's uncle, auntie out in the country. Yeah, or, something like yeah. that. Yeah, and yeah. then son is going to be like the adopted kid of this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he I, will progress from there. I, I don't know how long this ran for. Are we talking uh, like uh, 60 episodes? Are we talking more? Because I could see a lot of really, really interesting high school drama-ish with him trying out for the high school baseball team. Mm-hmm. Are they going to go to nationals? 
And then mm. is he going to go to nationals? They're going to lose. He gets mm. picked now to try. Oh. The, you know, I could see a whole oh, belt like that. Oh, John, they have they would have plenty of time. There were 182 episodes. Oh, oh baby. my goodness. Yeah, that would give you plenty of opportunity for the <laughs> high school arc. Yep. Or the go to nationals. And then when he's a rookie trying out mm. for the Giants, but he doesn't get in. He gets into a lesser team, but he like proves himself and ends up getting somehow a second chance. So that's the 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 uh, Bush League arc yeah. before mm-hmm. he hits the majors. <laughs> no idea, but I could I could easily see for that many episodes. Yeah, yeah, you could easily do that. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Um, People like their baseball. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, very much so. Uh, should also be pointed out, I just discovered this. Um, Huma, our main character. Okay, Huma. Yes. That voice actor? That is Amaro Ray. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> that really? is Toto Furuya playing, playing Huma Hoshi. Wow. Wow. Is good this job. Like, is, is this like the first voice acting role? Um, let me see. Do, 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 do. It's um, not I mean, first, but w- w- his first major role. He was in a show in '66 as kid. Uh, <laughs> okay. And then this is the next role I see on Wikipedia. Dang. Yeah. Um, good for him. Yeah, really. Um, and then he from went now on, on you will play emotionally damaged children. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gosh, that's actually an interesting point. I wonder yeah. if there was an aspect of hiring him for Gundam from this role. Maybe. Yeah. Because it's like, well, you 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 played this kid with grit and determination and who who succeeded this, you know, despite the odds. Huh. Interesting. I was gonna say it'd be interesting to see how his voice acting mm-hmm. developed along with the character arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, to see right now he's a, he he's an angry, frustrated kid. But is there yeah. more nuance that he develops that right. by the time he got up to Gundam period, they're like, mm-hmm. no, he is the definitive voice of this plucky, disturbed kid. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a few other fun sort of voice acting things. I'm just finding out right now. Um, I I love this. The father. Mm-hmm. Um, he went on to play. Um, Megatron in the Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, that works. Violent, unpredictable. Yes. Well, <laughs> job. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Um, and then, oh, that's cool. Um, the sister okay. um, went on to play Mirai in, uh, in Original Gundam. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Yeah. She, she was Mirai. Also, Katz. Um, and just to tie everything, because everything always comes back to this, she was also Kasha in Space Runway Eon. Because oh. everyone ties in to Space Runway Eon as oh, God. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, which is actually, I mean, legitimately an interesting point because, like, you don't really hear a lot about a lot of these early anime, their voice actors. So it right. sounds like this show, like, established a lot of significant roles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any other things we wanted to, to mention? Oh, there was one thing other thing I did want to mention. Where we get it? This is where we get it. This is it. Come on, buddy. Do the thing. There is a moment. There is a moment. Oh yes. I just, I just, there, there it is. It is the trope. We found it. The the it's earliest version I know of of the accusing point in anime. Nice. Any sixty-eight star of the giants. But yes, and anything else we wanted to talk about in this? I totally think this should be live action. <laughs> wow, I wonder if it has been. Has no. it been a live action? I'm looking through Wikipedia. It's going to need an interesting uh, yeah. rating on it for all the, uh, <laughs> all the child problems going on. But... Yeah, it um, needed to be to have been adapted in like 1975. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, did we mention about the the uh, the effort made? In character face differentiation. Did oh, we, that's a good point. Yeah. That? yeah, yeah, we had not okay. discussed that. Yeah, okay. yeah, they do a really good job here of of having even background characters. Like everyone feels yeah. very distinctive. 
Um, not just the same face with different hairstyles, whatever. Yeah. I mean, they're um, kind of layered in, in kind of like a yeah, yeah. little simplistic kind of way that they're layered in with the, all the reporters. But mm -hmm. it's still, it's nice to see the efforts made to, and I don't, you know, the interesting part would be, since this is baseball, and there are mm -hmm. translator notes that we have that's talking sure. about teams and people mm -hmm. and certain things going on. Mm -hmm. It's like, I wonder if any of these are caricatures of actual right. sports reporters. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, that Feels would be interesting, like you know, because we know that anime staff loves to put themselves mm -hmm. in various parts and pieces of shows. So, you know, this could be the entire animation staff. We don't know. Yeah. And there's definitely a sense, too, in these drawings of like, very specific traits of yeah. people where it's like that's that's the guy with the glasses and the hat hmm. yeah that seems like a specific thing yeah i agree but unless it's written down somewhere we will yeah. never know who knows? who knows so yeah that's star of the giants episode one wow <sighs> yeah yeah that was a that was a shocker yeah yeah not what i was expecting no. at all no, at no, no, no. all, but yeah. given the, we, that what we got out of Speed Racer, this yeah. is definitely um, it's not nearly as much you know action action mm -hmm. action, yeah. but it is far more story development. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I completely agree. Like you, you can you can definitely see a clear trend with yeah. uh, really all the anime we've seen so far of increased polish, increased complexity. Uh, of taking this medium forward piece yeah. by piece. I mean, having the, the running war footage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throwing the mag, you know, the newspapers out, you yeah. know, having these different kind of mixed media in this. And it's like, wow. Okay. You, yeah, you really, you're edge little bit by little bit. You're getting, you know, putting a little bit of budget in this, putting a little bit of budget mm -hmm. in that and make sure that you're, you're progressing this. And it's like, yeah. Uh, Oh, and like, um, I, I will never be able to find the shot. But like, there's a moment here where um, he breaks a vase, and then the shot like shatters to the next shot. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yep. As a transition, like, really interesting stuff. Yeah, there. that was the that was the fight in the classroom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other interesting note is, I imagine that the there's a great deal of passion for sports figures at this period in time because mm, sure. what heroes do you have post war? mm Hmm. You know what I mean? So you really sports heroes Ooh. become a. When was Tiger Mask? No idea. Um, would have been about this time. Um, <clears throat> you know, not Tiger Mask. The like th there was that wrestler that were that, that like won a, a match against a. Um, an American opponent and became like hugely popular post war. Okay. Um, gah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm at a loss for that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Fight. Throwing him around. We he throws him there. Yep. And it's supposed to be when the big, when the bully hits the cupboard on the other side. So mm. come on, is it here? Yeah. Okay, you hit. Oh, uh, 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 here we go. Yep, he hits. Okay, yep. yep. yep there we here go. We go. Yep. Oh. No, it, it oh, doesn't happen there. Not... Weird. Huh. We saw it. Yeah. Yeah. We all saw False the thing. Memory. False memory. It, it must be something else. Something else that happened. Um, so much happened in this. Yeah. It's true. There's a lot going on. Yeah, all of that. This. This. Okay. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. We're going to watch this whole next, thing over again, again yeah, until exactly. we find through it. the whole no! damn thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is Star of the Giants Episode 1. Oh. Uh... All and more you could ask for. Would you recommend this? For that. Who would you recommend this to, if anyone? Only on episode one? Or That's the all we have. Yeah. 
the only person I can think of to recommend this to is is somebody who is deep into sports anime. Yeah. To say, go back and see where where all of this stuff sort of came from. The origin of it. Yeah, because, you know, as we were watching this, it was drama on drama on drama on drama. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's that's one of the things about the tropes of sports anime today mm. is that there, there has to be the dramatic story. Someone yeah. comes out of a coma, somebody's dead, somebody, mm -hmm. there's yeah. that drama that drives the whole yeah. thing. Well, here, boy, did we get it. Yeah. 24 minutes of it. So, you know, you know, if you wanted someone to, to again, like you're saying, like sports anime, because I can't really, uh, from other than a creative um, perspective, you know, like, you know, mm. anime history, this, this is not something that I would continue watching. Mm. Um, and, and I'm hard pressed to to figure out exactly who. Um, I would say that's interesting. I, I will say this: it, it's interesting from a historical perspective. Oh, if yeah. you want to talk about Japan, Japanese society in that time, post war, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like true, you know, good, good call, yeah, yeah, you know that that yep. that would be of great interest to somebody because this is fairly representative of what's go what was going on mm -hmm. in that year. Um, but beyond that, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. With with one episode, I I would obviously for anybody who's a a, a baseball fan, a sports fan, I mm. I would have a hard time. Yeah. I feel selling them just on episode one. Mm -hmm. So if I knew where you know that we really start getting into the sportsy elements of it versus mm -hmm. the the sort of foundational layers. If I knew how that okay. developed, I'd be like, oh yeah, this you know you're really gonna enjoy how like the start of sports anime really started going along yeah. um i think i lean much more towards somebody who was looking at cinematography and filmography and those kinds of things okay. and actually history yeah kind of things mm -hmm. for technical uh usage for its time mm -hmm. yeah. um blending of different you know live action and animation um in a way, not like what was it? Was it Gene Kelly dancing with uh, uh, Tom and Jerry? Tom and yeah. Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you've got examples of that, but that's with a a much more budget friendly, <laughs> yeah, um, American film industry versus mm -hmm. this is 1960s to try and be you know doing something like this mm -hmm. uh, with the budget that you have available. Yeah, I'm telling you know, me. it's like yeah, yeah, and it's like so. <clears throat> I I think. I think I'd, I'd skew it more to the academic interest. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and as a casual mention to someone who is a sports fan to be like, mm. you know, Hey, this is a thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to check it out, you know, episode 45, it gets really <laughs> sportsy yeah. and then it's really good until like episode 100. And mm. then after that, you can just sort of, you know, yeah. Go. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I, but you no, know, I was just gonna say, and, and I'm not trying to be funny here, but maybe there's a reason why there aren't many subtitled versions of or, or episodes of this. Maybe you know, like there might be a reason why where people just kind of went to this and just said, "Why am I doing this, and who am I doing this for?" Mm. I mean that because that's a very good question, Brent. You know, mm. what, you know, who would we do this? In? And, and and I can just imagine a person who. <laughs> probably didn't know what this was saying mm -hmm. oh yeah i'll sometimes it's a sports anime and by the end of it they're probably just like oh uh, so actually you know, not yeah. quite um because i i i went to the website of the the fan summers and they were okay. very deliberate things. like they knew what they were getting into um, okay they, 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 they did the first episode and and they said they, they just they don't, don't have time like, they're, they're not a crank it out fan sub right. it's a okay. single person right. Who does like one episode every six months? You know, kind of gotcha, thing, right? Gotcha. Okay. okay. And they were like, I was wondering because I was like, I was like, you know, yeah. would, would I would I want to? I mean, yeah. I, well, and 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 they said, you know, they, they did the first episode of Star of the Giants because they were like, why is why has this not been translated at all? But then they were like, this is just th there's the amount of effort involved right. is obviously yeah. just absurd. Yeah. So yeah. The but, like there, there are multiple comments. Is the demand high? Well, you know. I mean, there were multiple comments on that page saying, thank you so much for translating this. If you get a chance to do more episodes, please translate it. So there are some folks out there who want it. Um, but to that, but to your point, I think the, the audience is very low. 
Like this is not like translating um Himitsu no Akochan. This is not like right, right. all those other things. Like this is almost a footnote in anime history, except for um actually no, that's not fair. Um, but this this is an important point a piece of Japanese anime history, right. not American anime history or UK right. anime history. So I think it just doesn't enter the consciousness of our fandom. Right. And, and one thing I want to be clear about, um, this is not a bad anime mm. by any stretch mm -hmm. of the imagination. Right. It's just it, we were just very surprised by all of it mm -hmm. being in this one yeah. 24. I just want it, anybody who's watching this, it's kind sure. of occurred to me that yeah. we're all just kind of like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah. you know, you know, it's the, overwhelming. It's yeah, not, it's very yeah. overwhelming, but it's mm -hmm. by no means bad. I mean, because mm -hmm. this, I mean, just this picture right here that you have up is just yeah. really interesting. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's just, you cannot not yeah. look at it and go yeah. and, and wonder about it and look at it and think about it. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, it's, it's, you know, to everybody's point, it's, you know, the animation is a lot different. The, the yeah. willingness to do these different things, story is a hell of a lot more polished. Mm. Um, you know, and we got a definite sense of direction going on here. This is sure. a solid show. Mm -hmm. This is very much a solid show. It's just, you know, is it for you? Yeah. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. yeah. You know. It's very much a part of this time. Right. Yeah. 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 Great. Cool. I hope that's helpful. Um, thank you all for watching.